Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix with another tutorial. This tutorial, I'm going to be focusing on everyone that has been fearing to use the mixer brush tool in Photoshop to do skin retouching. So this tutorial is going to be basically showing you and enlightening you on how you can use the mixer brush tool if at all you feared it and if at all you didn't know how to apply it on your images to get perfect results using skin retouching and frequent separation in general. So if at all you find the video helpful, I request that you hit the like button because it's going to help you to push and come in this video to many people out there. So right now this is the image that I have and you always have to understand frequent separation because we have to apply the mixer brush tool under frequent separation. So frequent separation divides the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer. In the high frequency layer we have the textures and the low frequency layer contains the color. So come to your image and you press ctrl or command j twice and if i told you have the frequency separation action simply play the action and i'll find you later on in this tutorial so just come to the this layer name it low and name it and name this to high just like this and after doing that simply come to the low frequency layer and hide it so when you have the action it stops at the point when you have to apply the gaussian blur so just come to filter blur and come to gaussian blur so your action is going to stop at this point so this is the most important step when it comes to frequency separation. So you have to look for an area that has or contains more skin textures than the rest of the image. And you take the radius slider up, up the point when the textures are just starting to disappear. So you have to stop at the point when the textures are just starting to disappear from the image and stop dragging this radius slider. So you drag as you're raising it to see the effect in real time. So I simply click OK right there. And after doing that, I just come to the high frequency layer and now select it. Activate it by clicking on the eye icon. Come to image and come to apply image. So this is a 16-bit image and the settings I'm going to be using, you select the low frequency layer. The channel has to be RGB. And for a 16-bit image, the blend mode has to be add. And you turn on the invert option. The scale is 2 and offset. 0 or past at 100%. So for an 8-bit image, if at all you have 8 right here, simply use the settings as shown below so low frequency layer channel rgb invert is not turned on the blending mode for an 8 bit image is subtract the scale is 2 offset 128 and you can see the textures on the gray layer so i'll simply change mine to a 16 bit settings scale is 2 offset 0 invert and hit ok so after doing that simply come the blend mode and change it from normal and i'll change it all the way down to linear light so after understanding how frequency separation works, it is time to understand the mixer brush tool. So I'll select both layers, the high frequency and the low frequency, and simply press Ctrl G or Command G on the keyboard. And you can rename that to FS for frequency separation. So open up this. So before you understand how to apply the mixer brush tool, remember the mixer brush tool best applies on the low frequency layer, or it should only be applied on the low frequency layer. So we select the low frequency layer right here. So as soon as you select the low frequency layer, remember when you're working on the image involving the textures, you sometimes get distracted by the textures as you want or wish to mix or blend the skin color to blend and get a nice skin tone transition. So the best way to go about that, you have to come and simply hide the high frequency layer. So after hiding it, we come under the brushes and we right click and get the mixer brush tool. So if at all you don't have the mixer brush tool under the brushes, you may find your mixer brush tool below here. So right click and search for a mixer brush tool. So we are now selected the mixer brush tool and it is the right time to apply or set it right. So if at all you are setting the mixer brush tool for the first time, simply come and make sure the hardness is set to 0%. Make sure soft round brush has been selected. And make sure you have clean brush right here. Make sure it is selected and you have these boxes right here that are invisible or gray check boxes. And now make sure the option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke is selected right here, which is the second option because as you're working on the skin, we want the brush to be auto automatically cleaned by Photoshop as you're working on different areas of the skin. Then you want the wetness to be all the way to be 9% because you don't want to spill colors as you're trying to mix from one area to another. The higher the weight of the brush, 
the moat is going to be spilling color to other areas so just want to remain within the boundaries that's why you have chosen a weight of seven or below 10 percent so for this case i prefer nine because i've tried and tested this you may find different settings on youtube or different educators teaching you different settings so you have to find which works best for you so i prefer these settings as i'm about to set state them what is nine load 75 mix 90 flat 100 percent make sure sample all layers is not checked because when you leave this stand on and you simply come and you leave this layer turned on so when you start brushing on the skin you can see that it creates this kind of harsh textures the reason for this is because you have commanded photoshop to sample information from the high frequency layer and paint it to the low frequency and remember like i said in the low frequency layer, we only want to work with the colors and not involving the textures as part of the selected layer which is the low frequency layer so I'll just undo that so make sure sample all layers is not turned on and you hide the high frequency layer so how the mr brush tool is going to be working on the image i'll simply come and create an empty layer for purposes of demonstration so so i'll just get a brush tool and i just elaborate for you how to use and apply the mr brush tool i'll just choose a random color let me choose red so how the mr brush tool basically works we are simply are you looking at this image just look at this image you can see that we have an even skin tone transitions in given areas just look at this area right here you can see that we have some dark tones that are existing as part of the brightest area that i've circled here so we blend these areas that are less less dominant and we mix them to be part of the major color existing in a given area so if at all we are to work on this cheek area you can see that we have a dark color right here within the mid-tones that are existing here so we have to eliminate this dark color and blend it to be part of the predominant color which is these mid-tones so that is how to find and identify where to apply the mr brush tool and the other thing when you are using the mixer brush tool always make sure to follow the direction of the way a given area is shaped so for example if at all i'm working on the forehead area right here you can see the forehead area is moving in this kind of direction so a curved kind of direction so always move the strokes of the mixer brush tool in that kind of direction to get the best out of the mixer brush tool so understanding that so if at all it comes to the nose, the nose is moving in this direction. So you have to move the strokes of the Mr. Brush tool in this kind of direction. And same applies to the cheek area so that you can maintain the original shape of the model's face. So ensuring that you have understood how to apply the Mr. Brush tool, it is the right time to apply it in real life on the image. So that empty layer was for just demonstrating for you guys. So I'm just going to come back and I select the Mr. Brush tool right here. And after selecting it, so as you're working on the Mr. Brush to make sure it is small and is within the areas you're trying to work on all the colors. So how to work with the Mr. Brush tool? We simply make sure it is not showing a plus icon by pressing the caps lock key on the keyboard. Or you can use the opening close brackets on the keyboard to reduce or increase on the size of the Mr. Brush tool. So how the Mr. Brush tool basically works, you make sure it is as small as that area that you're working on and you left click and you move it in the direction you can see i'm moving the mr brush tool in this kind of direction like i demonstrated for you so you have to move it according to the shape or the way a given area is shaped so that you can maintain the original shape of the model's face you can see i'm mixing these dark tones right here alone and coming and mixing these bright tones just like there alone just like that so that i can still maintain the original colors in those areas so where these colors are transitioning from one color to another i'll reduce on the size of the brush and i mix the border so make sure the circle is between this color and this color so that you can mix and create a very nice and smooth transition amongst those colors so just keep on 
working in those areas. So you can notice as you're working with this technique of hiding the high frequency layer, the image is going to look a little bit plastic, but this is for helping and guiding us to work and see where to work best or to mix in a given image. So the other thing is you don't have to zoom all the way into the image because when you do this, you can't see the uneven skin tone transitions and you'll have more to work with. So when it comes to this area, like I said, we mix in this direction. So I've just mixed that area and I've gotten rid of this dark patch which was existing on the cheek area. And you can see it has now blended well. Reduce on the size and work on the shadow area of the nose. So I just want to show you how this works. So I'm just going to turn on the high frequency layer. And you can see that the textures are still part of this very image. And when you turn on and off the overall frequency separation group, you can see that we have a better and nicely transitioning kind of skin tones within this very image. And the textures are still intact. So you have to keep on working on the rest of the image. You can see that we have a dark tone right here. Just come and mix that area and you blend it quite well. And you can see this achieves or creates a very nice and beautiful result. So just come and mix just like that. And you work on the rest of the image until you have the best out of it. So you can see this is the before for the retouching and this is the after, before, after, before and after. So you can go ahead and remove the pimples or blemishes and you end up with a natural looking and reserve the skin textures out of the skin retouching that you have been able to achieve using frequency separation. So this is how to use and apply the mixer brush tool in Photoshop for those that have always feared to use the mixer brush tool. And this is it for this video. And if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and see you need more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.